So you may have noticed when you press Ctrl S to save your Blender file, there is your Blender file, and then there's also a .blend1. Well, the .blend1 is a backup of your previous save. So if you press Ctrl S or just save your project, then this file's data is going to override this file's data, and then when you press Ctrl S, it's going to make this the new save. So for example, if I press Shift-A, go here and add a cube, move the cube over here. Now if I press Control s to save this, you can see now this Blender file is the monkey and the cube, but if I open up this Blender file, you can see it's just the monkey. So the dot .blend1 is just a backup of your previous save, and in case you did something in Blender or you messed something up, you can always go back to this dot .blend1 and open it up and then resave it as your new project. However, if you're just coming back to the project that you're working on, then generally you should always open up the dot blend and just leave the dot blend one how it is. Now I personally don't really use this feature, I don't really like it, so I've actually turned it off in Blender's user preferences. So I'm just going to select the dot blend one and I will just delete it. Now if you want to turn off this setting, you can click here on edit and you can go to the preferences. And in Blender's user preferences, you can go down here to save and load and there's going to be a save versions. So for example, I could just turn this to zero and now if I press control s to save this, there isn't going to be any dot blend one. Or if you really like this feature, and you want to have many backups of your saves, you could turn up the saves version to a very high number. And then if I save this, it's going to continue to save many more saves. So dot blend one, dot blend two, dot blend three, and so on. And so whenever you save it, the current version is going to become the next version, and this version will become the next version, and so on. So you can really do whatever you want. You could turn up the save versions, but I personally just like to turn this down to zero. And then you can click on the save preferences button so that saves the preferences for all your Blender projects. Now if I'm working on a large project, I do like to create backups of my saves. And so that is where I use the increment save feature. So if you click here on file, you can click on save increment, or you can use the shortcut key, which is control alt s. So I'll press control alt s. And so what this is going to do is going to save it as monkey one dot blend. And so when you're using the increment save, the monkey one dot blend is going to become the new most recent file, and this is be going to become the old backup. So for example, I'll go to the add menu and I'm going to add a sphere and I'll bring the sphere up here. And then again, I can press control alt s and now you can see that monkey two dot blend is the most up to date version. And then the monkey one is a backup and then just the monkey is another backup. So if you're using the increment save, then the latest version. So the monkey two dot blend, that's going to be the most up to date version. And I use this feature a lot when I'm working on large projects and also procedural materials, because if I tweak some of the settings, but then don't really like it and I want to go back to a previous save, I can just jump over to these old saves and open them up. Now another way to do this is to press Control shift s and Control shift s is going to do the save as. And Control shift s will bring up Blender's file browser, and then you can either click on this plus icon right here, and that'll add a number, or you can also hit the plus key on your keyboard. So the minus key and the plus key, the minus key will turn the values down, and the plus key will turn the values up. So I can turn this up to monkey4, and then just hit enter or click on save as, and that will also increment the save. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. And to learn more Blender quick tips, definitely check out my Blender quick tips tutorial playlist. The link is in the description. And if you'd like to help support this channel, some great ways to do that are by checking out my Gumroad store and my Patreon page where I have lots of Blender content that you can get access to. But I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.